Hey, Tori here with ToriTote.com, the place to be to create a home. Buyers or anyone for that matter will find irresistible. So today I'm going to show you how to spruce up your backyard. But before we do, make sure to subscribe right here to see all our outdoor projects that we have right here on this channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create an urban garden just like this behind me. So check out these simple tips to get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is decide where your veggie garden is going to live in your yard. I recommend having them placed in raised beds, pots, or somewhere safe so predators and animals won't attack your food. Now of course you can't just use any old soil when you're trying to grow veggies. I recommend using an organic garden soil for flowers and vegetables to make sure that you have healthy plants that are going into your body. Adding a new layer of soil every year to your garden and then what you're going to do is actually mix it into the old soil like turning it over so you're getting enough oxygen through everything and everything is mixing together to create that perfect soil density. Now it's time to decide what exactly you're going to plant. There are three ways vegetables grow uh, above the ground in vine form and below the ground in the dirt. Below the ground in the dirt usually is a bit more trickier. As you can see here, we've done a bunch of lettuces that are above the ground and we even have beans and stuff over here. So this is what I'm talking about. These beans, they're going to sprout and go up. So we're going to show you how to secure these once they start growing so they don't tackle your entire garden and kill everything. So right now what I'm doing is kind of placing everything out where I want it to go, um, keeping like items together because you want to make sure that your garden is organized So every plant comes with some instructions right here. As you can see, this is ruby red leaf lettuce. It's going to mature in about 45 to 47 days. So we'll be able to eat this, just have a salad, just pick it right from our garden. Um, now, I do recommend that you pay close attention to the spacing of each one of these plants, as well as um, how much sun is recommended for them because most do require full sun. Um, and they do require some space because they're going to grow big and many times a lot of these plants can grow out of control. So we have some herbs which are basil and then rosemary. We also have some Italian parsley and chive. If the plant isn't naturally securing onto the wire, you can use foam wire, which we got these ties, you cut them in half, and you just take a piece of the plant and tie it to the wire with this. Of course, don't tie it too tight, and this will actually force it to start growing up the wire. We're also growing some peppers, red sweet bell peppers and ghost peppers. We're gonna see how hot they get. Over to the right, we have um, some sugar snap peas that again are gonna grow up the wire and grow that way because they are a vine plant. And then we have our lettuces, arugula, red lettuce, and of course, romaine lettuce. The final tip, and we are all familiar with this, is make sure to water your plants daily so they can grow, flourish, and create amazing vegetables for you. So what are you going to be planting in your garden? Let me know in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe right here to see more outdoor projects that you can do in your home. And you can also check out our website at www.toritoth.com. Until next time, happy planning.